With the introduction of iOS 11, OmniFocus gained some new drag-and-drop capabilities, making it more convenient than ever to move data within OmniFocus, and providing some intuitive and efficient ways for OmniFocus to exchange data with other apps. In this video, you'll learn how this works as we walk through some specific use cases. First, let's look at how drag-and-drop works within OmniFocus a feature that's supported on both iPhones and iPads. Let's start by looking at how you can use drag and drop to rearrange items within a project. Let's say you're reviewing your planned trip to Seattle project and want to reorder the actions. Specifically, I want to move the Talk to John action. I'll tap and hold on the action and lift it out of the project. I can then drag it anywhere else in the outline. I'll move it to the top of the list. You can also use drag and drop to group items together. I'll drag and drop the water the plants and take dog to neighbor's actions into an action called prepare to leave home. I can also use drag and drop to reorder items within a group and can just as easily move them back to the main outline. To add a new action to a specific place in the outline, tap and hold the add to inbox tool and drop it into the appropriate place in the project. I'll use drag and drop to add a new action to the prepare to leave home group. And once I'm done, we'll tap Save. Now let's look at how drag and drop can be used to process the inbox. Specifically, I want to move my book tour of Boeing factory to my planned trip to Seattle project. I'll start by tapping and holding to lift the action, and then we'll use my other hand to navigate to the project. I'll go to Personal, Fun and Recreation, and finally Planned Trip to Seattle. I can now drop this action anywhere in my project's outline. It's just as easy to move items between projects. For example, I just noticed that the Book Bowen Island ferry action ended up in the wrong project. I'll tap and hold to lift the action, and using my other hand, we'll navigate to the Plan Bowen Island getaway project, and then drop the action into the proper outline. Next, we'll look at how we can drag and drop between OmniFocus and other apps. Unlike dragging and dropping within OmniFocus, this feature is only available on the iPad. First of all, let's look at how drag and drop works between Mail and OmniFocus. I just received a new email letting me know that my new iPhone 8 Plus has arrived, and I want to make sure that this gets added to my admin list in OmniFocus. I'll tap and hold on the message to lift it. And then we'll use my other hand to navigate to OmniFocus. And once I'm there, I'll drop this mail item into the inbox. Next, I'll tap on the action and make some changes. I'll change the title of the action to Pick Up New iPhone. I'll add it to my Administration Single Action List, and we'll give it a context of errands. Since this is something that I'd like to take care of today, I'm also going to add a flag. The Note tab contains some basic information on the email, including when it was sent, who sent it, and the subject. And I could tap on the message link to get back to the original message, even if it's been archived away. This allows me to track requests that I receive by email without having to leave the messages in my inbox. Now let's look at how this works with Split View. I'll drag up from the bottom of the screen then position the Mail app to the left of OmniFocus. I'll go ahead and archive the email about my new iPhone as I'm now taking care of that action through OmniFocus. Next, I'll process some other emails in my inbox so that I can use OmniFocus to manage whatever action needs to be taken. I'll tap and hold on the email from Ringo McAllister to lift it off the inbox list. And keeping my finger held down, I'll use another finger to tap on the email from Perry Wong to lift it as well. I'll then drop these two emails into the OmniFocus inbox, and you'll see that two actions are created, one for each email. Since I'm now managing these emails through OmniFocus, I'll go ahead and archive them. Later today, I'll process my new inbox actions, but for now, I'll continue to process my email inbox. Here's an email that I received with a request to submit a proposal. I want to make sure that this gets taken care of before the deadline, so I'm going to create an action in OmniFocus. I want to track this through my sales single action list in OmniFocus. This list is contained in the Acme Consulting Sales folder. 
I can now add the email directly to the sales single action list simply by dragging and dropping it from mail. I'll archive the message in mail and then tap on the action in OmniFocus to make some changes. I'll remove the email from Jane Smith from the title and we'll give this message a deep focus context. This proposal is due on Monday, so I'm going to assign a due date of Monday. When it comes time to take action, I can switch to the Note tab and use the message link to get back to the email that contains additional information. I'll go back to my sales list by tapping back. Especially since this is something that's due soon, I want to make sure that I have some time to work on it. I'll swipe up from the bottom of the screen to reveal the doc, and we'll replace the mail app with the calendar app. I'll schedule some time to work on this action by tapping and holding on the action and then dragging it to the calendar app. By default, the appointment time is one hour, but I can easily make it longer or shorter as needed. I'll leave it at one hour and tap add to schedule this time. When the time comes to do this work, I can easily access this action in OmniFocus. I'll tap on the appointment and then tap on show all notes. When I dragged and dropped from OmniFocus, a link to the OmniFocus action was automatically added to the notes field of the calendar appointment. I can quickly go to this action in OmniFocus by tapping and holding on the link and then tapping open. It can also be helpful to drag and drop from the calendar app to OmniFocus. Let's say that I'm giving my Holistic Productivity Fundamentals workshop at 7 p.m. this evening, and I want to make sure that I review the material ahead of time. I can create an OmniFocus action based on this calendar item by tapping and holding the calendar item and dropping it into OmniFocus. By default, OmniFocus assigns a due date and time that matches the start time of the appointment. And the Note tab is automatically populated with the contents of the Notes field from the appointment. Lastly, let's look at how you can drag and drop between Photos and OmniFocus. I'll swipe up from the bottom of the screen and replace the Calendar app with the Photos app. Earlier today, I took a photo of a business card, and I want to create an OmniFocus action to get in touch with that person. I'll tap and hold on the photo, and then drag it into OmniFocus. A new action is created with the title matching the name of the image, and the image itself stored as an attachment. I'll give this action a more meaningful name. I'll say phone colon Hans to follow up on meeting. And we'll add it to the sales single action list with a context of moderate. I may also want to add some notes to the notes field. Things I want to have at my fingertips when I make the call. I'll then tap back and go back to the inbox. You can also add a photo directly into the Attachments field of a project, group, or action. I have a photo of a Boeing 787 that I want to add to one of the actions in my planned trip to Seattle project. I'll tap on the ellipsis and then tap Search to quickly locate this action. I'll search for the word Boeing with Remaining selected and then tap on the Book Tour to Boeing Factory action. Next, I'll switch to the Attachments tab, and I'll drag and drop the photo from Photos to OmniFocus. The photo is now stored in the OmniFocus database and available across all my devices. This is just a taste of what's possible with drag and drop on iOS. We'll be featuring more ways to make productive use of this functionality in other articles, videos, and live sessions at learnomnifocus.com. This is Tim Stringer from Learn Omnifocus. Thanks for watching.